So I got involved in politics uh, at the university level. So when I arrived at Western, I quickly kind of got involved in our student government there. It's called the University Students Council. I um, had a habit of uh, running for different offices that were a bit outside of my uh, electoral um, possibilities. And so I would lose and I'd have to run in by-elections and things. But I, I ran th uh, for a number of different things at Western and really enjoyed getting involved and eventually was the president of the University Students Council. And that was... Uh, before that, I'd never worked on any campaigns, municipal, federal, provincial, but um, having done it as a student and seeing the impact you can have when you're representing um, the people in your community, I was compelled to really get involved in campaigns locally. I got involved on uh, Matt Brown's campaign later. Uh, I had been uh, working on, at the university uh, beforehand, and so the campaign had gone away from about January on, but I wasn't free until about June, so I was a, a late addition uh, to the team, and I was, uh, there was a, some internal shifting going around, so I took over some of the data and digital work, and we were really trying to build um, a data infrastructure that was equivalent to that of like what a, a party would give to a candidate. So we were really trying to be pretty innovative in London um, and definitely the first time to do that in London. Um, and so that was my responsibility and so I saw the campaign through from January or from June to the October election. Uh, a lot of the beginning of the campaign is about communicating um, your message, why you are a candidate that is going to make the city a better place or, you know, in my case, make the university a better place. And so you need people who can really help you effectively communicate that. You know, I was doing some of the data work on Mayor Matt Brown's campaign and uh, we needed to collect donations and do all that sort of stuff, but we really needed strong communications on how to do that. So we'd send emails out and things like that and we really relied on uh, the brilliant people who were helping craft the message.